Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to fold this origami Star of David. It's a modular type of origami and it's some kind of hexagonal ring that has a six pointed star in the center. It would be best to use paper that has a white side and a colored side or paper with two different colors on each side so that you're gonna have uh, for example a white ring and a colored star. It would even add to the effect if you have golden foil with a white side on hand so that you're gonna have a nice little golden star in the center so the star of david requires the use of six square sheets of paper that all has the same size so let's get started so the book recommends the use of six inch squares or 15 centimeters but in this video i'm going to be using squares with a side length of 11.5 centimeters or about 4.5 inches so for one for each unit we're going to start with our white side up and fold in half horizontally. Unfold and now rotate the paper so that that crease is now vertical and we're going to align this portion of the top edge with the center vertical crease that we have just created. So just grab that edge and align it with the center vertical crease just like that now we're going to bring the upper left corner to align with where the center vertical crease hits the bottom edge so that crease it, that crease hits the bottom edge at this point so to prevent paper drift we're gonna hold down this layer that we have folded on with one of our hands and with our other hand we're gonna make our fold so while, while holding this layer down Align that point with where the center vertical crease hits the bottom edge. So now turn over. And we're going to make our next fold at the side where it has no tip on top right here. That This is the tip I'm talking about. We're going to make our fold on the side where there is no such tip. So that's this side. And the fold will be by aligning this edge with once again the center vertical crease. So the crease starts at where the center vertical crease hits the top edge right here. So just start the crease over there and then align the rest of the edge with the center. After that we are going to make a valley fold on the existing center vertical line right here. So basically that's a that's the existing crease that goes along this edge so just simply very fold along that it's actually a mountain fold so you're gonna have to change the direction of that fold and then just reinforce the crease our next crease will be a fold that will start at this corner right here and then after starting a crease at that corner we're going to align this edge with the right edge right here just start the crease at that corner and then align the edge i showed you with the right hand edge just like that now we're going to bring this bottom edge right here to align with this edge on top like that and unfold now we're going to basically just refold along that same crease but this time tucking this corner under this this pocket right here so you can see that if you open this up it's actually a pocket and we're going to tuck the corner into that pocket so just refold along that crease at the same time tucking it under the pocket so you can see here that I'm just simply sliding it under the pocket and then flatten, flatten on the existing crease so after you've done that you have just completed one of your modules or units for the origami star of david now make five more to have a total of six units once you have your six units completed let's start assembling so start by taking two of the units and we're going to position them so that things will be easier to understand so one of the units we're going to rotate so that the bottom edge is horizontal like this 
and then the other unit we're also going to rotate but this time the colored portion of the unit should be on the bottom part and the edge of that colored portion should, should be horizontal like this so take the unit that is positioned like this and let's locate the pocket so if you take a closer look here you're going to notice that there is a layer right here and we can actually insert a flap of another unit under that layer like this so that's exactly what we're going to do so take your other unit position the same way with the bottom portion of the unit positioned at the bottom horizontally and we're simply just going to slide that flap of the other unit into the pocket of another another unit as far as it will go and then you will see that a portion of the six pointed star in the center is kind of started right there after doing that we're just gonna turn over and we're going, we're going to form a simple mountain and valley fold to lock the two units together so the mountain fold is basically folding this colored corner behind I mean under the edge behind it so if you take a look at this colored corner and you kind of like swing it down you can see that there's another edge right there we're going to make the mountain fold along that edge and also tucking that corner under that edge so kind of like you can like pu push that corner under that layer and then once you got that in place you can flatten it and then your mountain fold is formed now the valley fold is primarily for forming the hexagonal shape of the ring and the valley fold kind of starts at where the where this edge intersects with the um, this point right here so yeah <laughs> you're gonna fold valley fold that right there and it's actually also kind of aligning this edge with this white edge right here but you can do it any way you want as long as you're happy with your hexagonal shape of your ring now once you turn over you're going to notice that um, a corner of your hexagonal ring is formed now continue with the rest of the units connecting the first and the last unit is doing the same using the same process but this time it's gonna be a little bit harder since you can't move the rest of the model around now if the unit with the flap is under the unit with the pocket you're gonna have to bring the unit with the flap on top and the whole model may, came, may come apart but you can just work on that later now we're gonna do the same thing inserting the flap under the pocket of the freeze unit push the whole model together and then turn over and then lock the two units the same way I showed you and turn over once again now your origami star of david is finally complete thanks for watching